Corvette pace car makes the turn to pit road and here they come. Green flag, the 63rd Daytona 500 is underway. They're all trying to build that run that Keselowski did. Here goes the three car. Will Dillon have help? No, they come down to block. Logano goes back up. Keselowski with him. McDowell in tow. Dillon on the bottom. The run's on top. Whoa! Teammates. Around they go in a hard crash. Kyle Busch. Kyle Larson. Caution is up. out. Bubba Wallace is in this. Austin Sendrick, hard hit by Kyle Busch. Caution's out. McDowell is first to the line, but we'll have And to Michael go. McDowell from Glendale, Arizona, for Bob Jenkins Front Row Motorsports, has won the Daytona 500. How about that? Man. That's a huge win for Michael McDowell and that team. Doesn't get any bigger than the Larson spotter. Oh, Blaney worked that high line perfectly right there. Big time. Here he is. Looking to the inside. Whoa, lead change and almost a collision. But will it stick? Well, now with the 22, affect the 12. Teammate of Ryan Blaney oh. coming right here with a lap car. I, I just wow. see the five car going away. Yeah, you know, he talked about the grip level of his car on that last stage and how it really fell off at the this end. truck he is off and they face the green flag. The Bristol Dirt Race is underway. Denny Hamlin, lap one. How cool is this? Seeing these cup cars slide these cars sideways around this high banks here at Bristol. That is awesome. And it takes me right back to the job that this track uh, crew did preparing this race track. Three wide you see already. Perfect track conditions. This track is only going to get better. It'll wear out. You see Denny Hamlin moving This race up. flipped around. Um, you know, Johnny took that wave around attempt. And his driver was able oh, to Oh, uh, back straight away. Oh, big His wreck. claw oh. completely backed up. And it started with Kyle Busch sideways with another car blocking the entire back straightaway. Oh, I see Alex Bowman in that. Priest on Bobby fire. Bush Bush is in it. Alex Bowman. What a difference a caution can make for all these deep. teams. I mean, the back stretch was Parking completely lot. blocked. Oh, Ryan Priest all torn up. Justin Haley. So that started back in turns one and two. And in fact, let's go all the way back to the start finish line and Kyle Busch. Here he comes into frame. Yeah, you can see he's trying to go to the, to the inside of the 17 of Chris Buescher. They make contact. But Buescher gets loose and comes down I don't know if he intentionally tried to come down because he was upset, but boy, look at that parking lot after that. Because probably uh, oh, a little displeasure from Daniel Suarez towards, I believe, William Byron. Well, that came from the help that he got <laughs> getting into the turn two wall earlier. Yes, uh, my unofficial fire, tally boys. has 15 cars involved in that backstretch pile. Yes. He was pushing him. Couldn't see there. They moved up to take a block. He had to check up, stacked him up, and almost wrecked him. Yeah, up. that was almost big between Kyle Busch and his teammate Denny Hamlin. And now look at Kyle Busch go backwards because of that. Yeah, he did. He went backwards because he chose the wrecking. Oh, oh, he's wrecking. Enjoy the Gano. Hamlin oh, and Logano. Oh, and, 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 and Keslowski is in it. Oh. 
Boy, it's just scary. Anytime that air gets underneath that car, gets it airborne like that, thankful to see that car get back on four wheels and not have a moving, moving around. Moving around. Grabbing, the, grabbing the wind net there. So now look how they're all stacked up. They're all bumper to bumper to bumper. Yeah, but look at the 11. He moves down to try to go to on the bottom, gets turned, turns him into the Joey Logano. And then, Jeff, we've all felt it. That silence, when that car goes over, it gets really, really quiet. Not a fun sound. And you have no idea if that car is just going to start rolling and continuing to roll or if it's going to settle down. Luckily, that's what it did. Let's use the Goodyear aerial coverage, see if we can see how this started. Okay, so there's the push of the 22 by the 11. Watch the 47 get to the rear bumper of the 11. Right here, that's that sandwich we talk about. And when Denny stepped out, the 47 was still connected. And that little bit of contact is what turned Denny into the 22 of Logano. Man, this one was just all about that pit crew and Alex Bowman on the racetrack today. Checkered flag in the air. Alex Bowman gets his fourth career victory, winning the Dryden 400. Ross Chastain. Dive bomb into the inside of Joey Logano. Going to take the lead. Talk to him on the grid. So looking forward to today's race. Had a big smile. A lot of confidence. Ready to go. And what about Ryan Priest in the second? You heard him talk about visibility, track position. Is everything? Oh, Ross Chastain made a mistake right there. Almost slid off the racetrack. I'm going to tell you, there's going to be a seat or two open in some of these top cars next year. Somebody ought to have their eye on Ryan Priest. This kid's a winner. Uh, he's been a modified champion. Uh, he goes and still runs the modifieds on off nights because he wants a chance to win. And here he wants a chance at the lead. Or well, he's proven that he can. Oh, he gets wow. sideways right there. That switch back to nine coming down to ten, but he's still got a big run. It was actually what set him up for a crossover. He got <laughs> loose and oh, kind of fell right in his lap. About to have Chastain right in his lap. Almost won the Xfinity race yesterday on this very track. It has been 37 years since cup racing in Nashville. And now NASCAR is back. Chase Elliott immediately making it three wide. Oh, they're all fits in the corner. Bowman and Chase both almost into the fence. Losing lots of spots down the back straightaway. We got one in the fence here. Quinn Hoff in the double zero. Kyle Larson trying to join the legends of NASCAR. Only eight before him have ever won four. Oh, he's got a flat tire. The left front tire's flat. It's down. He's going to go into the wall. Kyle Come Larson in the wall. The 48 of Bowman's going to get by him. A flat tire for Kyle Larson. And now Alex Bowman is going to win at Pocono. Unbelievable. Briscoe in the 14th, and William Byron gets by Kyle Larson in the 24th. He'll take third, and they're bumping and banging and grinding, and one car's around. Coming out of turn number six, he'll spin it to the inside. That is Martin Truex. Chase Briscoe. If he wins, he's in. He'll lock up the right front. Hamlin goes wide. Briscoe with the advantage, but Hamlin powers back to the inside. Hamlin goes back to the lead in turn three. Here's Briscoe right behind him, and Kyle Larson begins to loom large in these rear view mirrors for the two that lead the way through four, now into five, and turn six. All of that contact between the two leaders is allowed. Watch it. Well, the 24 is spinning. The 24 is, oh, there's a multiple cars into the wall here. There must be oil, some kind of fluid down on the racetrack right there in turn. We got car, more cars coming in. William Byron is reporting that the curb came up. He hit the curb in the 24. Yeah, the curbing is coming up, and that's what everyone hit when they were coming through there in turn six. The curbing comes up, catches a bunch of the cars, the front ends of the cars, and oh, numerous cars are destroyed. Take a look at what happened to Daniel Suarez's car. The 22 of Logano. Back up through the gears they go. 
How will the breaking zone work when they get to turn number one? We're mere seconds away. Three and four wide as they go to dive into turn number one. Denny Hamlin goes on defense. Kyle Larson comes flying around the outside. Kurt Busch is there as well. Now it'll be Larson that'll slip. Hamlin will go through. Briscoe to Benedetto. Kyle Larson having a hard time negotiating one and two. They are jammed up that mid-pack, but it's Denny Hamlin that'll break free of the muck and the mire in turns two and three, and he will pick up the lead. Briscoe with him in second. Here comes Matt to Benedetto. He wants third, but he's got to get around A.J. Allmendinger to do it. Bubba Wallace off course. One other car spinning, leaving turn six. More contact on the straightaway, and there's more calamity on the back straightaway. One, Chase Briscoe's going to give him a run for the money. Here's Briscoe to the outside, but he's going to be offline. No, again. Oh, Briscoe. Briscoe's in the grass. Now it's a battle for the lead with Hamlin and Allmendinger. Briscoe will come back onto the grass, and now he will be side by side with Denny Hamlin. Briscoe getting forced off course with a piece of debris that went flying off the race car when it happened, but they're back on course. Battle for the lead. Well, now exits turn five and six, and Ryan Newman gets the curbing in turn six. Down the back straightaway, there's smoke out of the, set, out of the 11 car. It's all clear now, though. He leads them into seven. Briscoe right on his tail. We'll have to see how NASCAR stop and go. 14 has well, stop, stop and go, and go for the 14 him. car. He is not racing for the win. Oh, he's got to spin Denny. Denny has spun out. The 14 car spun Denny. to get him their first win. A.J. Allmendinger could come here and pull off the most amazing win of his career at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Another chapter written into the Indy history books. A.J. Allmendinger will cross the yard of bricks, the winner of the first ever road course race for the Cup Series. <laughs> Let's go! Stations on the outside. Chastain underneath Austin Dillon, putting him three wide in the middle. Harvick in the back of the seven car. They're going to have a big run. Oh! Corey LaJoy fakes to the inside, stays to the outside. He's getting shuffled back now. It's Blaney out front. Suarez in the middle of this. Harvick running second. A big shove coming from the middle. Daniel Suarez in the 99. He gets turned into the four, and they go into the wall. The next flag will end the race. Right side. Caution down, caution down. And there is the caution flag. Ryan Blaney wins. The big accident happens behind him. Entering the playoffs, he was second in the regular season. But one of only three drivers that were winless, and now he's slow on the track. The five right up behind him. Smoke coming out from Larson. Larson up against the wall. It's a drag race to the checkered flag. Denny Hamlin's going to win it. Big wiggle out of Christopher Bell. Alex Bowman into the wall. Ross Chastain caught up in the 42. The 19 of Mark Trex Jr. also involved. Watching the 2311 team wait out this rain uh, and NASCAR's decision if they are going to continue to work on the racetrack. Again, the rain coming down a little bit harder now. Uh, and once again, it takes quite a while to dry this racetrack. So uh, patiently waiting if you can. Bubba Wallace, when the caution came out, was in front of the field. The rain started then right away. History made once again. It's official. Bubba Wallace gets his first career win. He's just the second African American to ever win at the highest level of NASCAR. Over 50 years ago, Wendell Scott was the first. Bubba Wallace now officially the winner at Talladega. We're pretty good. Oh, look and out! The nine is around. The big damage as well. There's a big damage to the back of this nine car. one of Cole Custer, hey, but a down. lot of damage to Chase Elliott. Yeah, the problem, yeah, the nine is destroyed, Junior. You said big damage. Got to get this deck lit on it. The four was there, too. It was very close between Harvick and Chase Elliott. Back bar's broke. It is. 
That's big damage. Chase Elliott came into the race only nine points to the good. He has earned 19 points today in stage racing, but now a ton of damage. Wow, he's already got the damage at this point. So he's already had contact with the wall somewhere in the in the infield. And then the 41 got him there as he slid into the grass. Yeah, let's take a look. You guys mentioned it already. Oh, right there. It's a great shot. Oh, did, was there contact between him? Look at the front bumper of the four car. Big damage to the nose of Kevin Harvick. Was that the payback from Bristol? Did Kevin Harvick wait until it mattered most for Chase Elliott? Let's take a look. You're clear. Wow. The four is the nine of Chase Elliott. Keep your eye on the bottom of the screen. What will Chase Elliott do if he gets to the four? Well, you're getting ready to find out because the nine has a run on the 19 of Truex, and the nine is going to force his way in. Oh, the four is going to miss the corner. He He's misses into the it into the DeWall wall. Kevin Harvick hard. The right front of the caution comes out. As the 48 continues to try to take the lead from the 11. Oh, the 11 around. The 11 goes around, and the caution will come out. A restart. How about that? And this is going to get interesting. Oh, boy. Denny Hamlin not happy with the way Bowman raced him. Mark Denny, B, R, big picture here, big picture. Maybe words of...